Hey everybody, sorry I can't be there with you today, so I'm going to be doing everything through this video. Um, please remember that because this is a video, you can stop it, pause it, rewind it, um, but make sure you're taking notes because all of this is vital information. Now let me start off by saying we will not have a traditional test over this material. Instead, we will end up having a test project. So it's important to take notes so that way you don't have to go back and find a lot of this information later. You could refer to your notes really quickly rather than having to go back through all of these pages. So our new unit, we've got two more left, video and presentations. And in this one, we're going to be learning about how to film and edit video. So today I'm going to start off with talking about copyright and filming. And then we're going to go ahead and get you guys um, writing your scripts so that way you can film over the weekend. And then when you come back, I'm going to go over the different software options that you have to choose from and basically what we're going to be doing um, when I return. All right, so go ahead and start off um, by looking over here at the left and finding the copyright under video editing. And so um, as we know, when we're publishing something to the internet, especially video, we want to make sure that we're giving credit to our sources. We don't want to get in any trouble um, with the law, but we also want to make sure that we really, you know, provide that citation so that we can say, thanks for letting us use your source and so that we can really give that person credit. So what we want to talk about first is how you're going to be citing all of these things that you're going to be finding for your video. So in your video, we're going to use images, we're going to have to look up information, and we're going to have songs. Uh, and in some cases, you might even have a video. Um, so what we're going to do is in your credits of your video, you're going to end up citing all this information that you see here. So we start off with images courtesy of, and in this parentheses area, you're not actually going to use the parentheses, but instead this is a placeholder for where you're going to put your website. So if let's say you go out to Google and you want an image of a drone. So you type in drone, you go to Google Images, and you find an image you want to use. Now, first off, I highly recommend that you use Creative Commons like we've done in the past, so labeled for reuse. And again, I clicked on Search Tools, and where you see um, Rights, you want to change that to Labeled for Use. And these are just images that are open to us and that we can use without getting in any trouble. So let's say this is exactly what you were looking for. So you click on it and you don't say that this is images courtesy of Google. You say that this image is courtesy of Pixabay. We can go and visit the page. And that actually takes us to a bigger area where we can find these. Let's see, that was really similar. Maybe we like that one. Okay, and you can see over here on the right, the actual person who posted this to Pixabay. Um, so I'm gonna take image courtesy of Pixabay or image courtesy of Paula Mondragon, comma Pixabay. Either one of those will work, but using Google Images is not a correct answer. When you're also going out and looking for images for your project, remember that you want to click on view image before saving it. So if you find the image, you click on view image, you want to right click and save that image from there. And remember to save it to your H drive. If you save it from here, you're getting a smaller thumbnail version. Your quality is going to be pixelated and then I'm going to take points off and you don't want that. All right, next information. Um, in this first video that we're going to be doing, you're going to be using information from the internet. So if you got your information from PC World, it would be information courtesy of PC World. Um, songs, so we will be using music in all of our videos. So you're going to cite it using the song title courtesy of website title. So if we were talking about, for example, a Coldplay song that we liked, let's say Yellow, uh, we would put Yellow in parentheses courtesy of not Coldplay, but the website that we got it from. So YouTube, uh, Ben Sound, and I'm going to go over how we can get all of that. Uh, video courtesy of YouTube. So again, you will have the option to actually go and get YouTube videos to put inside of your video. And we're going to look at that a little bit later here um, as we get into our project. All right, so copyright. Um, so again, when gathering your information, you just want to make sure that you're citing everything correctly and that you're um, following the fair use rights. So if we click here on this link, 
This link is going to take us out to um, Cyberbee. And these are little students who have their hands raised with different questions. Now, I would go through here and look at each of these because it's important to know this information. For example, what is public domain? Well, public domain is anything that is open to the public that we're allowed to use without actually granting permission. So that Pixabay image that we just looked at was actually under public domain. We could see that by looking on the far right and noticing that it's stated there. Um, this little girl is really important though. This is the one we definitely want to click on. So if you don't know, um, because we fall under the educational umbrella, which we've talked about before with copyright, we can use a certain amount of music, images, video, um, as long as we stick to a certain amount. And again, that it's for educational use only. So if you're using a video, you can use up to three minutes. Um, any more than three minutes, then you're no longer following fair use. For text, you can use up to a thousand words and for music, no more than 30 seconds. So as you're going out and finding your music specifically, because this is really gonna be where it comes in um, into use, you wanna make sure that you are only choosing 30 seconds of a song. Now you can use that same 30 seconds over and over again, or you could use 30 seconds from a bunch of different songs and compile them together to make one big song. Um, but we'll need to make sure that we follow those in our video project as well. All right, so again, take a look around here, um, you know, click on these guys who have their hands raised. Again, if you didn't understand what fair use is, uh, it's the amount that we can use uh, with basically without getting in trouble or without, um, you know, not following copyright law. And again, it's using a small portion, making sure that it's for an educational purpose and making sure that we're not making any money off of it. All right, now if this is just a video on Creative Commons, um, we've talked about Creative Commons before. If you wanna watch this again to get a, a little refresher, that would be a good idea. All right, ready to film. So what you're gonna be doing this weekend is you're actually gonna be filming for your project. And again, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. And so in class this week, while I'm gone, you're gonna be preparing to do that. Now, if you decide to film Wednesday night, Thursday night, that's up to you. Um, but in class, you need to be preparing uh, for filming and getting everything together. So before you go out and film, you have to know what your topic is. You have to research your topic. You have to decide on the video length, who's starring in your video, collect any props you need, images and audio clips that you need, and of course you need to write your script. So we're gonna be doing all of these things and a lot of these things I'm gonna be giving to you. All right, so preparation for filming. So the first thing that we really need to do is we need to plan our script. And we're gonna be talking about that here in a little bit. You don't wanna go out and just do it randomly and, and wing it. You're not gonna come up with a good result. You wanna make sure that you really plan it out so you don't waste any time and you get it done as quickly as possible. And you also come up with a great product. You wanna think about what camera you're gonna use. Now, notice here that I have flip camera from Media Center or from your teacher. I am trying to get away from these. So here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. I want everyone to film with their own device. Film with your phone. If you have a, a, DCL, a DSLR camera that you wanna film with that has video capability, you could do that. If you have a tablet, um, the only thing you cannot use um, would really be a flip camera HD. So if you have your own flip camera and it's an HD, it'll say that on the camera, don't use those. We've wanted, run into a lot of trouble with those. But I want you to use your own camera. Now, if you do not have your own camera, then I want you to email me and we will figure out something to do for you. Whether I have you go to Ms. Shoop and check out a video camera or I have you go to the library and figure out to check out a video camera. But I do want you guys to use your own camera for this first project. All right. Now, compatibility, we're not going to get into that. I'm going to get into that with you when we get back. Location. So as you're preparing for your film and you're thinking about what you're going to be doing, you're going to be picking a location, things that you want to think about. Make sure that you're not in an area that's really noisy, that you can hear planes, that has a fridge running. Okay, when you're watching videos, you don't hear those things in the background. So you want to make sure that you are distraction free. You want to also want to make sure you're in a well lit area. If you are in an area that is really dark or too bright, then we're really not going to be able to see that beautiful face of yours. And then that's going to be a problem. So make sure that you're choosing a good place to film. All right. Now, um, my video camera is running low on time. So I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to pick up all the second video. So I'll see you in a little bit.